How much do you know about skin cancer? Well, skin cancer affects people of all ages, skin tones, background, men and women, including those with darker complexions. Skin cancer begins in your skin top layer of the epidermis. The epidermis is a thin layer that provides protection cover of skin cells that your body continually shed. The epidermis contains three types of cells and I will be showing you all different kinds of pictures so you have a good understanding. The first cell is called a squamous cell, just lies just the outer surface and function as the skin inner lining. Basal cells, which produce new skin cells, sits beneath the squamous cells. The melanocytes, which produce melanin, the pigment that gives the skin its normal color. And they are located in the lower epidermis. The melanocytes produce more melanin when you're in the sun to help protect the deeper layers of your skin, which is the dermis and also called the uh, true skin. So very quickly, if this is your first time on my channel, my name is Maria and welcome to Aglaya Aesthetics Online, where I share, teach everything to do with health and wellness, beauty care in a balanced way. Give me comments below and if you disagree with me, please do it respectfully. If you have not subscribed yet, please consider it. Click the notification bell so you will not miss any of my educational tutorials. Skin cancer develops primarily on areas of sun exposed skin, including the scalp, face, lips, ears, your neck, of course your hands, and on women on the lower legs. But it can also form on areas that rarely see the light of day. Your palms, beneath the fingernails, toenails, your genital areas, and other areas too. So let's talk about the first one, the basal cell carcinoma, and a little bit of the signs and symptoms. Usually they occur in the sun exposed areas of the body, such as your neck, your face, and uh, it looks like pearly or waxy bumps. Sometimes they're flat, fleshy color or brown scar-like lesions. Uh, bleeding, they bleed, they scab over, they heal, and they return. That is your basal cell carcinoma. No. Squamous cell carcinoma signs and symptoms, usually they occur in the exposed area of the sun, uh, body such as your face, your ears, your hands. People with darker skin are more likely to develop uh, this type of cancer. It looks like a firm red nodule, flat lesion with scaly crusted surface. Number three, melanoma. Can develop anywhere on the body in otherwise normal skin or in existing moles that becomes cancerous. Melanoma most often appears on the face, trunk, and on women on the lower legs. Melanoma can affect people of any skin tone. In people with dark skin tones, melanoma tends to occur on palms, soles of the feet, under the fingernails, and toenails. Usually there are large brownish spots with darker speckles a mold that changes in color, size, or feels that it's like bleeding and, and uh, it's uneven on the surface. A small lesion with an irregular border and portion that appears to be red, pink, white, blue, or blue-black. So it has different colors. Also a lesion that can be like a little bit painful or itchy or burning sensation. Uh, could happen the mucus lining, such as your mouth, uh, your inside of your nose, vagina, and also anus. So let's look at uh, some of the uh, signs of less common skin cancer, such as the Kaposi sarcoma. This rare form of skin cancer develops in skin's blood vessels and causes red or purple patches on the skin or mucous membrane.
mainly occurs in people with weakened immune systems, such as people with AIDS, and in people with taking medication that suppresses their natural immune system, or individuals that have undergone organ transplants. The next one is that Merkel cell carcinoma, and that this cancer usually looks like shiny nodules that occur on just beneath the skin uh, or in the hair follicle. This type of cancer usually is found in, in the head, neck, trunk, so it could happen anywhere. Another type of rare uh, cancer is called the sebaceous gland carcinoma. This uncommon and aggressive cancer originates in the oil gland in the skin, the sebaceous gland carcinoma, which usually appears as hard, painless nodule, can develop anywhere, but most occurs on the eyelids, uh, where they're frequently mistaken for other eyelid problems. Much of the damage to the DNA in the cells, skin cells, results from UVR. So some of the factors that you really need to take care of yourself to protect your skin. So if you have fair skin, anyone regardless of skin color can get skin cancer. However, having less pigment or melanin in your skin provides less protection from damaging UVR. If you have a history of sunburn, having had one or more blistering sunburns as a child or teenager or even as an adult, you may develop uh, skin cancer as an adult, so please be very careful. Uh, sunburns in adults also are a risk factor. Excessive sun exposure. Anyone who spends considerable times in the sun may develop skin cancer especially if your skin isn't protected by sunscreen or clothing. And I will have uh, in the future a little bit more on, um, explanation on how I feel about sunscreen. Tanning, including exposure to tanning, uh, tanning lamps or sunbeds, also puts you at risk. A tan is your skin's injury response to excessive UV radiation. The skin is say, saying, hello, stop, stop, stop. Living at a higher elevation where the sunlight is stronger also exposes you to more radiation. So the higher the elevation, the closer to the sun, and of course you're going to get uh, uh, more radiation. Now, another thing that you have to be very careful are moles. Please check your moles all the time. Uh, people who have many moles or abnormal moles called dysplasic nevi are at increased risk of skin cancer. So if you have moles, please check them all the time. Cancer is skin lesions. Having skin lesions known as actinic keratosis can increase your risk of developing skin cancer. These precancerous skin growth typically appears as rough, scaly patches that range in color from brown to dark pink. They are most common on the face, head, and hands of fair-skinned people. A family history of skin cancer. If one of your parents has had skin cancer, you may have an increased risk of this disease. A personal history of skin cancer. If you develop skin cancer once, you are at risk of developing again. Exposure to radiation. People who receive radiation treatments for skin conditions such as eczema or acne may have an increased risk of skin cancer, particularly basal cell carcinoma. So protect your skin and follow these simple steps. Avoid the sun during middle of the day. For many of us in North America, the sun's rays are strongest between 10 a.m. and 4 p.m. Schedule your outside activities for other times of the day. Sun exposure accumulation over time also may cause skin cancer. 
wear sunscreen and uh, some people are for it and some people are against it but they do play a major role in the overall sun protection program so if you use a broad spectrum sunscreen with an SPF of 15 and uh, with a combination of mineral makeup it will protect your skin I am not too keen about uh, sunscreens with high SPF and I as I mentioned and I, I will have a tutorial explaining the reason behind that so use a sunscreen with mineral makeup in the area of exposed skin including your lips uh, your ears uh, back of your neck back of your hands and remember remember a good skincare and below I will have some links on good mineral makeup and uh, some sunscreens uh, 15 SPF and most of all good skincare line if you use good skincare and you start when you're young it you will see a difference in your skin as time goes on as you get older uh, if you don't use a good skincare it will show as you progress in age next wear protective clothing because sunscreen don't provide complete protection from the UV rays so cover your body with photo protective clothing that covers your arms and your legs and a broad brim hat which provides more protection if you just use a base cap a base baseball cap or a visor it does not protect you as much don't forget sunglasses look for those that block both uh, UV radiation such as the UVA and the UVB rays avoid please avoid tanning beds lights used in tanning beds emit UV rays and can increase your risk of skin cancer also be aware of sun sensitizing medication some common prescription and over-the-counter drugs including antibiotics can make your skin more sensitive to sunlight ask your doctor or pharmacist about the side effects of the medication that you're taking examine your skin often uh, before a shower or after the shower for any skin growth or if your moles are, are changing make an appointment if you notice anything that is there's changing because your doctor will be able to tell you yay or nay not all skin changes are caused by skin cancer your doctor will investigate your skin changes to determine a cause